Morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of a very wet and windy London. But of course, it's always nice to have your company, whatever you're doing. Do keep safe, do keep warm. And yes, you know, don't worry, literally, this weather will have passed within 10 minutes. That is, of course, the English winter time or English weather. As many people come over here to London to enjoy, of course, not just London, but the United Kingdom, they do say to me, you know, Neil, is it always like this? And you say, no, sometimes the weather's really bad. Yes. <laughs> well, have a quick wave. How are you? Nice to see you. Whatever you're doing today. Listen, I wanted to highlight this, quite frankly, because these particular headlines are all about, of course, the former disgraced royal, um, Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. Now, a lot of people over the last few days have been very, very unkind regarding this particular uh, situation. As you know, uh, they were there for a, a memorial service for King Constantine. And the bottom line about this is it is a members, you know, family members event. Now, what I can tell you first and exclusive on this show is, as we all know, His Majesty the King right now is unable to take on various certain duties and obviously needs to keep away from potential bugs and colds and stuff like that. So, of course, being in St. George's Chapel would certainly not be the ideal place. He was ideally represented by uh, Queen Camilla, who did a sterling job and I have to say, looks a little bit nervous, but, you know, really pulled through. I think she's working incredibly hard. The headlines like this, particularly where they're claiming that Prince Andrew is trying to push his way in, worm his way back to the front, and of course claim that, you know, he's looking gleeful to be there. Well, the true story behind that was this, that as you can see, he is accompanied by his former wife, Sarah, the Duchess of York. And both were very hesitant about this high profile event for more or less the simple reasons of how this would play out in the optics. A lot of people have been very unkind, but let me tell you this, that Queen Camilla, alongside the Princess Royal, Her Royal Highness Princess Anne, were more than happy for Prince Andrew to take this level of centre stage at a personal family event. This isn't a royal event, it's a family affair. And I think that people are being very, you know, unkind, because let's not forget, whatever people think about this particular individual, and there are lots of things that you could say, the other side of the coin is, is he not allowed now to be simply a family member at any events? Should he be simply locked in the tower and never to be seen again? Well, clearly His Majesty the King felt, you know, happy enough for him to be representing him on the world stage, knowing full well, of course, that the media would be there. Take a picture, and I would say this to all of us out there, literally our chums, our community, genuine people, of course, who know right from wrong, sensibilities, that sort of stuff is, Really, it is a personal family remembrance. And I, for one, have no problem with, of course, the former royal known as Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, attending. Other events, yes, I think they should be very selective on how, if and ever, they reintroduce him back to royal life. This, I really don't believe he deserves the sort of pile of vitriol that the British media over here have thrown against him. I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.